Today we're looking at the AK-400 standard assault rifle. No, one second. Sorry, this is the AK-400 deep cool air cooler. The front of the box is very minimalistic. It tells you the model number on there. It says performance CPU cooler. You can see the cooler and it says deep cool. The sides of the box are plain. Would have been nice to have some features, something like what sockets it supports us and stuff like that. The back of the box, the writing is that faint. It looks like they've run out of ink when they were printing it. And it's that small, it's very hard to read. Okay, let's have a look at the fan first. You've got this nine bladed fan, so that's pretty good. The fan will spin at between 500 and 1850 RPM and it's got a fluid dynamic bearing in there which is pretty good and it should be around about 29 decibels when it's running flat out which is pretty good it does have a sticker on the center which does look to me a little bit off so it might look a little bit uh, weird when it's uh, going round yeah it's not completely centralized if that's a big thing up to you i don't know uh, the cable is a standard pwm uh, connector on the end it is roughly 28 centimeters long on the sides you can actually see there is no cutout in the corners so if you are using this fan for anything else where you need to put adapters in between the holes you can't do it on this uh, but bear in mind it is fully rubberized so all that corner is all rubberized which is pretty good normally they only just put a little insert on the end uh, on the back you can see obviously the model numbers and everything like that and you can see obviously i've put the pre-applied or I pre-applied the clips on there just to show you what it looks like with the clips on. Okay, so let's have a look at the heat sink. As you can see here, it's got this what they call a matrix design. Looks more like a waffle to me, but there you go. Uh, so you've got this waffle design, and that's on the same on both sides. Obviously, your fan will clip on to here. The top of it does have this sort of... Uh, sort of a checkered sort of pattern on the top uh, with their logo as well there's no rgb lighting or anything like that you can't see the top of the heat pipes or anything up there either but if you look at the bottom you can see the four heat pipes which loop round which are copper one thing to bear in mind it does come with pre-applied thermal paste we've taken that off uh, due to our testing and so forth uh, but that's basically what it looks like but it does look pretty nice and obviously once you get the fan and clip it on it will look like more like this but again you can add on an extra fan if you wanted they do give you the fittings not the fan but the actual fittings to add a fan on uh, so you can actually make it look like how you want it does come with a three year warranty as well and it will fit pretty much most of motherboards out there including socket 1700 1200 1151 1150 1155 am4 and in theory it should also fit am5 as well because they've announced am5 uh, is basically the same as am4 so in theory it should fit that as well and it's 155 millimeters tall windows 11 powerful productive and profitable for resellers windows 11 was built with usability efficiency and security in mind reimagining the way a pc should work Windows 11 has been beautifully simplified with a streamlined UI. It's simple to upgrade. VIP is your destination for genuine Windows 11. Contact your VIP account manager for the latest price and unbundled deals. So down to test results. We've tested this on an i7 12700K processor, which are renowned to get very hot. So don't be surprised if the numbers do seem hot because it's a really hot processor and that's why we test the coolers on the hot processor to see if they're able to cool it down without thermal throttling. Now down to the test results, when you go into idle, which is when basically the machine is sitting there doing nothing, the actual temperature of the CPU is only about one to two degrees above room temperature, which is what generally you would get on most coolers. Now, when we set the fan speed to 50%, okay and then run the computer processor flat out that means all cores threads everything are working flat out for 30 minutes the average temperature gets to 84 degrees celsius and a high of 97 the high was very high but it didn't thermal throttle so it actually passed our tests when you put the fan speed up to a hundred percent so the fan is working flat out we got some better results so we got 75 degrees celsius 
uh, as an average and a height of 86 which is very good and when we did add a second fan to it because it does come with the adapter to add a second fan we did get slightly lower temperatures it knocked about two degrees off so 73 on average and an 84 for high but it didn't really make that much of a difference it probably make a little bit more noise as well if you're having two fans but saying that it was able to cope with everything we did so there wasn't any issues in testing and i'm actually very happy with the results so in conclusion we've got a pretty good cooler which does everything it says on the tin it can cool anything really up to an i7 processor and most ryzen 7 processors as well maybe the top end one you may have a slight issue like for example an i9 processor uh, if you're putting a bit of load on it i'm pretty sure it will start thermal throttling but saying that it cope very well for a basically a single tower cooler while it looks good and it's got some interesting design features on it like the waffle design you're not actually going to see most of that in all honesty because one part of the waffle design is actually behind one of the fans and the other one is on the back side of the actual cooler so unless you're going to stick your head in there and twist it around a little bit you're probably not going to see much of it but saying that it does everything it says it's going to do on the tin so it cools your machine down plenty of cooling it looks good as well there is no rgb but again not everyone wants rgb you can attach your own rgb fan if you wish but bear in mind depending on the fan it may affect your test results so otherwise i can't do anything but highly recommend this product i hope you enjoyed that review if you did why not check out another review we've done of a deep cool product right up here that box there or if you're interested in other cooler reviews we've got a box just here what you can click on which will take you to some of the other reviews we've done otherwise don't forget to give us a good thumbs up press subscribe press like or whatever else is down there to press